Hey everyone, so here we are. Uh, this is my entire Inktober book. Uh, this is the Wolfman. That's the theme, werewolves, for this specific uh, book. And I have finally completed it. Now, I did a video with the first half of the book. And uh, I'm really eager to tell you what I was thinking through all these pieces. Um, but first, as always, I like to have some form of influence. And one of my big influences uh, on all my love for monsters is Monsters of Filmland, the famous Monsters of Filmland. This is a magazine uh, that when I was a kid, uh, there was all over the place, you could see them. And it would just have all kinds of great pictures from about all the monsters, Christopher Lee. And back then, you know, you just weren't able to see a lot of these kind of pictures. So to see them in a large format like this, I really loved it. And um, whether it's insider stuff about makeup or something like that, or Lon Chaney, here I am doing all this uh, Wolfman stuff. You know, it had all of the time. So it had some modern stuff, but they know what their uh, real audience probably was, or people really interested in these universal pictures. So um, the Abin Costello uh, stuff. And these are pictures I never would have seen before. You know, this is in the 70s. And uh, I really love these books, and uh, I don't have a lot of them that I had at the time. Um but I remember them really well. You could order all this kind of stuff on it. It was on around for a long time, but still going on, I believe. But uh, love all this around. If you ever can pick one up, Monsters of Filmland, it's just a great uh, resource, and uh, I look at it all the time. I just love the look of these beautiful covers, too. All right. Um, okay, so let's get started. Now, because I have the other video has something about all of the beginnings. I won't say that much about these until I get to the uh, the end. Now remember, this is just, uh, this is 31 spreads. Um, I used uh, my brush ink. I used uh, markers uh, and uh, black watercolor. I didn't use my India ink for this one. I just some used some black watercolor. And, uh, you know, again, this is my interior page. They're all spreads. And so I'm going from things that are you know, images that I really thought about, you know, um, when I've been, you know, I've been looking at a lot of uh, the separate, um, separate films and stuff all my life. And this is from the 1941 uh, Lon Chaney we just talked about. And this is our Even a Man Who Is Pure of Heart thing that we uh, that I brought out. This is in the 1941 movie. And again, if you want to see some of these images a little bit more up close of these first, uh, take a look at my other video. I tried to change the format of the book. This is the newer uh, Wolf, uh, Wolfman. And Mike Plug pieces all influenced by that. Werewolf of London. Curse of the Werewolf, Oliver Reed. The Howling. I always like the proportions of that. He's like a giant. Again, uh, that shot of uh, the Wolfman, 1941. More of that. I kind of like really how this turned out. Kind of moved you through as a spread. The big famous scene coming down and into uh, seeing the American Werewolf in London. It's another one I think Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, grabs at this man's hand. That actor was so great. American Werewolf in London again, they're on the moors. Uh, the uh, Werewolf of London, great scene. 
She's looking at her compact and sees him behind her. It's a great scene on that 1930s movie. Um, the Looney Tunes piece. Uh, Mike Mignola. It says that part. It's all Mike Mignola. It's the best. Put a little red riding hood in. Um, Company of Wolves, I believe. Great image, right? And this is where we start for the second half. So this is a uh, teenage uh, werewolf. I was a teenage werewolf, I believe. And so this is another one where you're kind of getting close in. You're seeing this woman, she's this gymnast or whatever in this gym, high school gym. And then she looks over and sees, uh, what she sees is an upside down werewolf. I'm sure it's just totally influenced from the uh, werewolf of London. And then we kind of show, she gets off of there and runs away and he gets her. Uh, teen wolf. Fun, I guess, 80s movie. Michael J. Fox. Thought I should throw that in there. Again, another one of those shots from uh, The Wolfman. Uh, again, I'm just trying to get that look. And the proportions here, it's tough to tell because of that, the gutter here. There's something going on with those proportions, but you can kind of see when you get to it. This is Curse of the Werewolf. Just a great, crazy story. I try to get all that kind of texture in and the silhouette for drama. I like how that head turned out. And again, uh, the wolf. I think uh, Michelle Pfeiffer was in this one. And it's just a close-up. It kind of looks a little like her. But that was a whole kind of a different movie. I liked it. Jack Nicholson was in it. Uh, I love this one because it's uh, Neil Adams. And this was a cover, and I had to change it for the spread. But uh, Batman there, and he's about to be attacked by a wolfman. And I tried to get that horizontal feeling for this instead of the vertical that you get from uh, when you do a regular comic. I like that one. Not, not great like Neil Adams. Another Mike Plug uh, piece. This is from a cover. But again, I'm making it in a horizontal. Wolfman on the, you know, this alleyway and all these people are surrounding. I kind of like the little dog. He's kind of knows something's up. And, but uh, his typical kind of Wolfman. Uh, this one again, you know, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. You know, I think they had a really good poses for this stuff. So I'm trying to get that feel to that whole piece. Um, and this is a Frazetta. Just love the Frazetta. Like it's his painting had this kind of wolf like this and with those eyes. I really love how that looked. And even this vampire, I really like the mouth. But he has a little architecture in the back, some bats. It's, it's a... I really, you know, had to make it into horizontal. But I really do, I tried to really work with that back and get that feeling of them, that hand, not easy. Back to Frankenstein, a werewolf, werewolf uh, the wolfman that is. And I love that scene where they're, they meet and they only, they only meet for like the shortest time to have a fight. But as a kid, I love this part. And there's a flood happening, and they're fighting through it. It's jumping on stuff. I don't know who the um, the guys were, uh, the stunt guys were doing it, but I, I, there were some falls. The Wolfman were taking was taking, and it was looked like he could have really gotten hurt. 
But I love the architecture and then the things that were happening around them. But they were only focused on each other. I love that one as a kid. And this is another Mike Mignola, a female werewolf image. Again, I made this a long vertical. He had all this detail, so I'm really just a sketch of it. And if you've ever seen, you know, Mike Mignola, you gotta take a look at any of his wolf images. And again, what I'm trying to do at the end of the book is, like people, as always in uh, in Wolfman movies or any monster movies, they, the villagers come and they're going to go get him. So I have the villagers coming, and he's there. He's really kind of caught. Is that place much place to go? And it reminded me of uh, the American Werewolf in London, where at the very end of the the movie, you come in and you see that she, you know, they have the uh, the wolf uh, trapped in this alleyway, can't get out. So I have a little shadow of him, and then uh, his girlfriend, the nurse, like she's there, and she she goes past the guards and everybody. Uh, and she walks through, to hoping to be able to make him understand. He under she understands he's a wolf, and you get that close up of her. And then for a moment, they show the eyes of the wolf man of the wolf, and then he attacks. And of course, he's shot like they kill him. But uh, but I kind of try to make this. It's more comic book like, right? Tell a little story with that with that part. Loved it. And this is also from the Wolfman, not the best Claude Rains, but I'm trying to do it. And he has the, the silver um, cane, and he fights with the wolf, his son. You get very close, and then he realizes he's killed him. He's killed his own son. I kind of still have him as a wolf here, but that whole idea, the cane, the silver that can kill the wolf. Again, kind of a story. And then this is the big one. Like, I always loved this uh, gypsy woman in the 1941. And she comes over and she says this over him. The way you walked was thorny, though no fault of your own. But as the rain enters the soil, the river enters the sea. So tears run to a predestined end. Now you will have peace for eternity. And it's just a very little touching thing. I don't know. It's a werewolf movie, but... When she's ever she would come in, she was always around him, and it was really she just looked perfect. That actress, love that image. So it's kind of the end, and then I have this as the inside back cover, and this is going to introduce you to my new graphic novel that I'm working on right now, uh, "Kill Me by the Light of the Moon," and I'm just starting that now, and I'll try to show some uh, images as the uh, as the months go on about how that that works. So this has been a great kind of uh, study for me to come in and do this kind of work. It's going to be a lot of werewolf work in this graphic novel. So I hope you enjoyed it and hope you were doing some stuff for, for Inktober. It's, uh, it's really become a nice tradition for me and I uh, hope to you know, follow along with uh, some more of the things I'm doing. Make sure that you're liking and subscribing and taking a look at all my other books that I have links on uh, that you can go take a look at some of my other graphic novels for, for adults and for kids also. See you soon.